What is going on, everybody? It's Mr. Arrow HD here. We're here with something new. Um, I kind of heard about this game through the grapevine. Uh, I've seen a couple other of my YouTube friends playing it. Uh, Gunner, um, I know Jim Jim has been playing it. So uh, it's called Peak Angle Drift Online um, by some Russian developers. So a lot of the English is not. It is supposed. It's marketed as a drift simulator. Um, so, you know, I figured I'd dip my toes in and check it out. I played about two minutes just to see if my, uh, my little trusty Xbox controller would work properly. Um, I haven't really fucked about with it much. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to try this game, I'm just gonna, I'm not sponsored by them at all. Um, if you guys want to try this game, it is currently free to play, I think for the first two days. And then you have to buy a minimum, I guess like 20 bucks, uh, worth of in-game credits. So basically... Uh, it's free to play right now, and the only thing they charge you for is in-game credits, um, which you get anyway, but, you know. Um, so, yeah, so if you guys want to go check this out, the links to all their stuff will be in the description below. So let's get into it. I don't know what any of this means. What does any of this mean? So let's start off by looking at the upgrades and stuff. Um, I've, been, I've kind of dabbled in here a little bit, but um, it seems like everything is based on research, not money which I don't quite understand um 92 percent weight I don't know what any of this means yet but uh, I have no e so uh, I can't <laughs> I can't uh, do anything with those but that's kind of like there's like a, it looks like there's a, like a little upgrade tree like you need to have uh, your steering upgrade one to get another steering upgrade or to use the engine upgrade which kind of duh, doesn't make sense you figure the engine tree would have its own tree. It is a cool upgrade, uh, cool system though. I just think they have to move some stuff around. Uh, why would I need engine upgrade one to do weight reduction one? You know what I mean? Um, it, good idea. Again, this game is super in beta, like turbo beta. Um, so there's going to be a lot of glitches or things that may not look or sound right. Probably, maybe. Um, you know, and, and and a lot of that is because a it's in beta. That can all be forgiven. Um, we're going to go into styling here. This is kind of where. The game is trying to set itself apart. Um, you can paint the body, the front rears, uh, the front rims, or the rear rims, and then you kind of just do it through this thingy. Um, uh, gloss, matte, or mirror chrome if you want. Just gonna leave it red. The vinyl looks very similar to Forza, but not really. So you have all these shapes that you would want, or you can, you know, just add the tribal and like it does look extremely similar to Forza uh, but then there's stuff like this so there's like I Love Drifting, JDM and like a bunch of the pre-made things um, that you may want to use. Reminds me of uh, Need for Speed Pro Street uh, in a way. The logo is Bong Mobile. Bong Mobile? I know it's probably Bong Mobile but it's definitely Bong Mobile. And country flags. They got the Canadian flag. Cool. This is how you change position X and Y which I have to be honest I don't like this at all. <laughs> um, it just doesn't feel super uh, intuitive. But I've seen, uh, again, super beta. They have time to change things. But um, I've seen a lot of people put on some really, really, really cool uh, designs from what I've seen on their website. So maybe, you know, maybe I'm just an idiot. Um, and this is actually fine and I just don't know what I'm talking about so another cool thing here too that I just noticed is you can change the material of your vinyl so you can make it mirror chrome gloss or matte which is something you can't do in Forza right now uh, and then you can reflect the layer if you want um, yeah I think this is gonna be good for now just to just to tool around with it 10 grand all right so we did it anyway uh, front rims so you can change the front wheels again they're not uh, they're based off of name brand wheels I think but they're not real uh, name brand wheels, at least not at the moment. I don't know if they have any intentions of making them real. Spoilers, they got what basically looks like real life spoilers. Um, just, you know, they obviously don't have the rights to them, so you're gonna have to pay the money. So there is, what I just noticed, there is credits and dollars. So dollars, I'm assuming you can probably earn in game and then credits are probably what you have to purchase uh, online. So that's kind of like a, that's a typical free to play model. You can put like dumb stuff on the car like off hot dog or whatever body is where you're gonna try to find you're gonna find like pre-made body kits so for the most part I like the customization of this game it's not stellar 
but it's, it is really fun to watch or fun to look at. The only thing that I, the only complaints that I have is the vinyl thing is a little bit janky, um, and I'd like to be able to change my bumpers individually. Like I want to be able to have, if I wanted a rocket bunny front and then a regular rear, or have this quad uh, vinyl or this quad group, but be able to remove the rear bumper, or whatever I want to do. Um, so that's really not a, a, a huge complaint, and then the upgrading tree just needs a bit of work. So convert e experience conversion available for elite and premium cars only. I don't know what that means, so I'm going to keep... Um, and there's the tuning options, which we'll get to in a bit, but we're going to go to races to same league, I guess. So I'm not going to lie, guys, I don't know anything about this game. I just kind of seen a couple of people playing it, and that's about it. Oh, we're already into it. Okay, so I guess I'm put... I hear other cars. I don't want to... Okay. Oh, there they are. Jesus Christ. So I got, like, randomly put with a bunch of other people. So the drifting in this game... I get... Oh, hello. I bet you guys are like, Oh, what are the physics like? It's a drift simulator. No, it's not. Um, it's fairly good for a game of this type when compared to, like, other, like, games of this vernacular that are trying to capitalize on drifting. Um, it's good, but it's not quite... Uh, levels of Assetto Corsa, or even Forza Motorsport for that matter. Um, it feels a lot, oh, hello, it feels a lot like, uh, Grid, Race Driver Grid, if you guys have ever played that. Um, you know, it's, it's fun, and there is an element, oh, please don't kill me, oh, okay, I can go into it, um, but, uh, I can't, oh, we spun, oh, I tried to go wall tap, I guess. <laughs> um, but there isn't, like, it's not skillless. It's definitely easy in the sense that I'm not really trying, and it kind of counter steers for me. Um, and it's all based around points. But really, um, it isn't super difficult. Um, so like, I'm not I'm not really counter steering here. The game kind of counter steers for you, which I mean is okay. I understand that this probably isn't meant to be the next byword in, in drift realism, which is totally fine. The devs just wanted to make a cool, fun... Oh, I looked down on my phone for three seconds. They wanted to make a fun, uh, drifting game. And, and that's what they've accomplished here, really. I just, uh, the tuning, I guess I was, thought this was going to be offline for some reason. There is a fairly similar to Forza Motorsport tuning uh, menu. I don't know what any of it means yet. Um, you can adjust dead zones and stuff. Uh, I don't know if I messed it up, because the car definitely did not handle like this when I just started on, on the stock team, so I may have ruined it. <laughs> um, but like I said, I have really no experience with this game other than what, uh, what we've been doing here. We're spinning on a lot. Oh boy, we're spinning on a lot. Um, but my only complaint physics-wise is it is a little wonky with the steering. It forgivably so. It's not uh, really bad. Um, I think that I, I can fix a lot of this with the tune, and the fact that my car is fairly stock, I think it is stock, um, it just kind of feels weird on, with no power to be able to push through these slides. Um, another a big complaint that I have, really, oh, fucking Christ, one of the major complaints that I have is, where's the, where's the clutch, guys? Um, I'm assuming it's coming, but especially with the starter car, it is basically impossible. Um, for me to do anything here with this stock AE86S and uh, not have a clutch. And I mean, I understand that maybe I need a tune, whatever. Uh, another thing I don't like either is the camera. I just like, you know, I love Forza Motorsport for their camera. And just, 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 it's not completely off putting, but they tried to make it like an action cam. Which is just really, really distracting to me. Uh, some people might like it, I just don't. <laughs> so, you know, that... And if you are the developer watching this, understand it's probably a pretty small game. Take everything I'm gonna say with a grain of salt, you know, like, but being super critical about Oh, no! Uh, but, like, you can change tire compound. Um, it, they're definitely onto something here, in my opinion. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not the next... Assetto Corsa, the next R-Factor, the next, uh, oh 
my god, I have no grip. <laughs> or the next, like, uh, Forza. But it's definitely a start. Um, you know, they need, they need people giving good feedback, and that's why it's a beta. Um, the physics, to me, are when they're down pat and when everything's sorted. This is going to be like a game not where, you know, you test your skills. And it's going to be like, hey, I want to listen to like some of my favorite music and just play, um, turn my brain off and just thrash. Which is, you know, it's going to be fucking tatabanak. It's going to be um, fairly perfect for what this game is. Wish there was collisions. Alright, so, alright, I was gonna say, I'm way off track here, and they're like, oh yeah, drift, keep going. This game is really difficult with the stock car, so what do we get here? We got green stuff. Oh, we got monies. Oh, we got experience, monies, so, and respect or rep or whatever that is. Okay, I just pressed event. And I don't know what that did. <laughs> I saw a car in the background. I, I'm confused, but you know, I'm ready. I, I can handle this. Oh, so it gave us a car. That's cool. So I'm guessing events are like little challenges. So this, it's more, whoa, okay. So it's definitely more about throttle control than it is actually the first here. And the front end definitely kind of like darts. But it is a fun physics system. It's not super realistic by any stretch of the word. Whoa, daddy. By any stretch of the word, but it feels fun. Ted, Jesus. So the physics engine definitely going to take some getting used to, but. I was just afraid that this game was going to be too easy, I'm glad to say it's not. Oh, come on! I was just trying to style on people. No! So it's kind of automatically counter steering, so I guess that's just for those that are a little drifting net. Which is okay, like I said, it doesn't feel like it's playing for me. Oh, fuck off. Oh no, come on! That was so cool, and I've been robbed. I came last, because I got gypped. I got gypped. I've been a hundred. No, that's not going to do. I'm sorry. Daily event on Toon Drift Car. So it's like, this is the car, this is the track. Let's see what you can do. So let's see. Let's take this pretty seriously here and see what we can do. No more wall taps. No more cool stuff. Because I was a hundredth and I only had 16,000. First place is 22. You gotta be really, really, really careful with, uh, with the throttle. You gotta drive it like it's got a thousand horsepower, even though it doesn't. See, we're already at 22 grand. Oh, so 22,000 was the bottom 100. Oh my god, I thought I was just gonna come out here and fucking destroy everybody. I guess not. Let's see if I can get top 50 at least. Oh my god, spin this time. Spin this time. This is nice. Oh no. Oh no, where did I go? Where did I go? I don't want to be here. Hey, we're 35th. That's not amazing, but I'll take it. So we went from 12,000 to 31,000 with a bunch of effort. First played 90. <laughs> what is he doing that I'm not doing? Whatever. I'll take 30 second. I'm accepting that. I could admit where I've been beat. But anyway, guys, this is 
peak angle drift online probably gonna be screwing around with this game a little bit more uh please let the developers know on their facebook or the twitter or whatever that you enjoyed this game or if you want to play it it's completely free for the first two hours or first two days not two hours um but yeah guys thank you very much for watching probably gonna screw around with this on a stream or something a little bit more and yeah talk to you soon peace hey thank you so much for watching if you liked the video make sure to give it a like and if you want to see more click the subscribe button also consider becoming a patron at my patreon page patreon.com slash hd want to follow me on social media or want to hear the song that you heard in the video please check the description